We all know and love Arnold Schwarzenegger from the Terminator movies, and we all know under the skin of the Terminator was the T-800 robotic endoskeleton. Now it's one thing to be a fan of the movie and the T-800 and want to build a plastic model of it to sit on your desk or your action figure shelf. But Jamie Staff from Jazz Creations in Australia loved it so much he handmade his own full scale metal T-800 endoskeleton out of sand forged aluminium. Jamie started off by making just the arm, which was made out of resin, but one day he bumped into it and it fell and broke into pieces. It was because of this that he decided to make another out of metal. Using skills he learnt in a TAFE course, he built his own forge and started building the arm of the Terminator. But once he got started, he wanted to make the whole T-800, not just the arm. In the Terminator 1 and 2 movies, the actual Terminator endoskeleton wasn't a fully articulated version. Rather, they were a collection of parts that moved on a T-800 statue that was used for individual shots. There were a number of full-size versions built, but even they had limited mobility. Jamie did not want to simply build a rigid copy of the T-800. He wanted to build a fully articulated life-size Terminator. Which means all the body parts, head, neck, arms, hands, feet, legs and torso, can all be moved into various poses. But once he got started, he had trouble figuring out all the parts and measurements. But Jamie was fortunate to stumble across a fellow Aussie, who just happened to have a rare complete resin kit of the Terminator endoskeleton who bought it himself a while ago, but never got around to doing anything with it and was just sitting in storage. But the owner told Jamie the condition of the resin parts were not that great and had to be reworked to get into a usable state. Jamie ended up going through a lengthy process of refining each part, cleaning them up and using body filler to fill in broken or missing areas, until he was able to put the whole resin skeleton together. Now using the resin T-800 skeleton, Jamie started making sand cast moulds, in which he would pour the molten aluminium to create the metal parts. But this type of casting is not precise and required a lot of trial and error, with some pieces taking many attempts to get right. And even after the parts had been forged, they required a lot of cleanup and removal of excess metal. Plus all the detailed join lines had to be cut and engraved onto each piece by hand to match the movie Terminator version. This whole process of creating the raw metal parts from start to finish took two and a half years. Because each piece is made separately, when it came time for assembly and joining the pieces together, a lot more time was spent lining everything up and making them fit as intended. Once everything was mocked up and fitted together correctly, then Jamie had to figure out how to make all the main pieces fit together while still having the ability to move freely. Because of this, he could not simply weld or bolt them together in a rigid fashion. But since the main bulky pieces were made out of such thick metal from casting, they gave plenty of room to hide joints in and behind the pieces, such as all the ball joints in the shoulders, hips, ankles, etc. And because he was building a fully articulated life-size Terminator with 230 movable joints and pistons, there were many hurdles to overcome. Jamie spent two and a half years just to get to this stage in the build, where all the parts had been created. Now came all the sanding and polishing of the rough surfaces. This was some of the hardest work the cleaning of the raw castings and getting them polished to a mirror shine. Over 500 individual pieces in all. Jamie said, if I had any real idea of the work I'd end up putting in, I probably never would have started. Once all the parts had been polished, it was time to put everything together. At this stage, Jamie had to be creative, as he had very little to go on when it came to where all the hoses and cables were fitted on the movie Terminator. 
so we simply just used logic and placed them where it seemed right. Just to be clear on one point, Jamie's version of the T-800 endoskeleton is not 100% screen accurate. It's a combination of the T-800 from the Terminator 1 and 2 movies, plus his version is made so all the limbs can be posable, where in the movies, they are not. Once the whole T-800 was put together, and all the small details had been taken care of, it was time to come up with a mounting system to make it stand upright. Because the unit weighs so much and is designed to be poseable, it could not simply stand on its own or lean against a wall. So Jamie designed a mounting system which allowed him to raise and lower the Terminator so it can be placed in various poses, without having to worry about moving the heavy skeleton with brute force. Once the mounting system had been finalised, he then proceeded to decorate the stand in a theme straight out of a Terminator scene, complete with skulls and bones and a fake fire system that helps the overall apocalyptic theme. The final T-800 weighs more than 130 kilograms, has over 500 individual pieces, 280 bolts and 60 hoses. It even has a set of acrylic denture teeth, and took four years to complete. Now Jamie never kept track of how much money he spent on the build, as he mostly used recycled aluminium. He even melted down some old aluminium engine parts. But he did go through 30 9 kilogram bottles of gas on the forge. But just to give you an idea of what it might be worth, he did tell me you can buy a full scale T-800 replica made out of chrome plated resin for $10,000. But it's just a static statue. So as you can imagine, a full scale handmade aluminium fully posable T-800 would be worth a lot of money. But Jamie has no intention of ever selling it. It now holds a place of pride in the corner of his humble man cave. Hi Wonderworld, thank you for featuring me on your channel. I'm Jamie from Jazz Creations. I'm something of a self-taught mad inventor who just likes making things. I work in lots of different materials and I make up heaps of different projects. And I also like casting metal. But I think one of my best projects is the Terminator T-800 Endoskeleton. And as far as I know, it's the only all metal, fully articulated, movie accurate version in the world. I really do love reading the comments that I got about this build. But one day I got a comment that really stuck out to me and means a lot to me in particular. And that's this one from the Stan Winston School. I'm glad that the guys got to see what I've done with this iconic character and that they've liked what they've seen. And who knows, maybe Arnold or James Cameron will get to see it one day and they'll drop a comment in the comment section as well. Now it might have been a lot of time and effort to make, but now he has a one of a kind piece. And as far as he knows, it's the only all metal, fully articulated Terminator T-800 endoskeleton in the world. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.